and welcome to Queendom TV. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Tia and Tamara Mori. Now I'm talking about these guys, if you don't know who they are, they're from Sister Sister, a show I used to watch when I was younger and some of you may know they've been in many different shows actually since then and I want to talk about them because I talk about a lot of child stars on this channel, a lot of the stories I talk about are negative and so I thought let's talk about a positive experience of Hollyweird and let's get into how it can actually work and how it can be a good thing so without further ado if you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button don't forget to comment your thoughts down below I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and if any of you actually watch sister sister because it's not the most recent if you like of childhood stuff um, and other than that let's get into it so I want to talk about Tia and Tamara because First of all, I loved Sister Sister when it first came on. I can't remember when it first came on. And I just thought it was funny. And it reminds me of the days when we used to watch TV. And it used to be very innocent and just funny and just good. And not have weird things that you weren't sure about. Like Dan Schneider's feet stuff all the time. Or just children just kissing and stuff like that. You know when it just used to be fun and, and funny? Um, and that's why I associate with it. And I think a lot of that has to do with um, some very um, intentional steps that their family took. So... There, um, Tia and Tamara were not actually the first, I think, of their family to become famous. It was actually their brother Taj, I believe, who was on a show. And they got chosen to actually have their own show that was made for them. Um, after, you know, some people had seen them, something to do in connection with their brother Taj, like I mentioned. Now, the important thing I wanted to mention was that their parents played such a key role in how they turned out. Because of his, um, their mum, she actually... Um, was with them all the time. She was the one who used to go around with them. Their father actually used to go to the army sometime, used to be in the army, and so he wasn't always around, so it was more the mum who was kind of managing them. And it seems that she played a massive role in making sure that they were only doing things that were serving them, that was good for them where, at the stage that they were at, and also just protecting them from the industry in general. Um, so that is really, and I think that's really important. Both of them have talked a lot about how, how grounded they've been. And I mean, I follow them now into adulthood. Um, at the moment, you've got Tamara's kind of doing lots of different things. Um, she's now moved, she's married with two children now, um, ha seemingly happily married. Um, they're living in Napa and she's got lots of different things. She's now involved in her husband's family wine business. She was recently on The Real, but she left to go and do other things. She's been doing movies. And shows and stuff like that then her sister um t tia has was also happily married um or at least seemingly happily married also with two children she's also been working on different shows and different things like that they both have youtube channels or social media content that you can you can watch with them in fact T tamara um was doing and still does her and her husband do these well mainly her husband to be fair they do these cooking videos on instagram which i like to watch where you can just be with them for the evening while they make food they make cocktails they just have a nice time play some music talk about stuff make some cool food and it's just really nice vibe and i like that kind of content myself so it's nice to do that and i've enjoyed that throughout um lockdown now to me i mentioned where they are now because i want to show that for me it just goes to show like as the bible says you know you shall know you shall you you shall know them by their fruit you know the fruit of the the, the childhood that they have is that now they're living very, very stable lives, you know, doing, making decisions that they want to make for themselves. I know Tamara came out and she left the real. Personally, I think that there were other reasons why she left the real that she didn't really want to talk about. But um, I feel that, you know, the fact that we ne we don't know and there's no like evidence out there to say that, oh, she secretly told so and so again, just goes to show how um, integral they are, how... Um, how much respect they have for themselves and how grounded they are as people and both of them have spoken I've had both of them speak about you know how grounded their upbringing was because of their parents how as much as they were these Hollywood celebs celebrities and whatever they would still come home and when they're around their family it's just like always you know having their normal family meals normal family interactions and just a very kind of normal life and I think this is something that has been absolutely vital for them I think the fact that you know, the people that were there, that, that were responsible for them, took so much accountability and responsibility to look after them. Um, it made sure that even though they were in this crazy world of Hollywood, you know, where so many things go on, they're probably on the same sets and same <clears throat> environments where so many other people were mistreated. But because of what they had, they were able to maintain, um, you know, who they were. They weren't just working for anything. And I mean, even just the fact that they ended up getting a show that was made for them. To me, that's just, you know, God's grace working in their favor as well. Their, their mum is a, is a woman of God as well. Or their family are people of, I should say, is it just their mum? 
I think at least just at least their mum is. I think they're their mum and dad in general, and they are a lot more so Tamara though. Tia not so much, but either way, um, you know. And I think it's important to discuss these kinds of things because it just goes to show it's possible. It just goes to show that it doesn't have to be the way that a lot of other people have turned out. You don't have to turn out like you know a lot of the sad stories I've spoken about on this channel most recently. I've spoken about Paris Hilton. I've spoken about Demi Lovato. I've spoken about Britney Spears. I've spoken about Amanda Bynes. So the list goes on of all these childhood stars who've been through so many different things, you know. And it just goes to show that that doesn't have to be the way that it goes. You can just you know, with the right things in place, have the, be, be young and be talented, have that career and just go on to have a very, very stable life. And I think their family played a massive role in that for both, on both sides. I know for Tia, she talked about the fact that when she first got with her, her, her now husband, Corey, um, he wasn't really as established in his career as she was. He was kind of in a tougher spot ter in terms of life than she was. But her family really took him in and really took him in kind of under their wing and kind of just gave that same love, I guess, that they give towards their daughter. And they were able to now have been able to build a beautiful family together where they are both working out there still in this Hollywood crazy place doing what they need to do but having their family and having that stability and even with Tamara like I mentioned you know she had obviously different things going on she took a slightly different path um they don't necessarily play and, and then one of the things they talked about is just how they have different personalities they played their different roles and stuff as well I think that's really beautiful to see um and now like I said Tamara she's moved on now she's doing what she really wanted to do which she's been wanting to do these Hallmark movies she's talked about it's something she's always really wanted to do I think she's mentioned she wanted to do a bit of directing and it's just nice to just just speak about something that's just so unproblematic and to just know that this is actually possible and so I guess that's the lesson to us all that it doesn't always have to be so um volatile it doesn't always have to be such a big risk if some people even if it's just a few take the responsibility that is needed for these young people for these children in hollywood then with that they actually can even inside hollywood they can survive and obviously they shouldn't have to be having to survive so much obviously that's really the issue here um but yes and even sister sister now has gone on it's so it's so popular it's now on netflix again people are now re-watching it i know tamara talked about how her children her children like to watch it and it's just a lovely legacy imagine that kind of legacy to leave for your children where it's not one where because a lot of the other unfortunate and when i say when i'm talking about legacy i would just want to make it very clear that i'm not blaming the childhood stars because a lot of them were just massively failed so i'm not blaming them for what they actually went through I'm more blaming uh I'm not really blaming it I'm, I'm more just saying that look how nice it is that when people did step up how how much of a nice impact that 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 can be how even wholesome their content is enough to show to their children because I think a lot of the things that we do nowadays um a lot of the things that a lot of people want to claim to do on the internet a lot of this very um provocative I guess is the right word to use um content movies music tv and all that stuff that people are creating a lot of the time I wonder how are you going to feel when in 20 years time when your child looks at that especially for people who already have children like how are you going to feel when your child watches that is this even content you want your child to take in you know and I think there's that's a question to be asked because whether we like it or not that's what they're going to be interested in they're going to want to know what mum and dad were doing you know <laughs> before especially when it's all over the internet especially if it's got eight million views or it was a number one tv show or a number one single you know in the future and i think there's something to think about from that there as well that it's nice to see on both sides they've shown examples of you know showing their children's stuff from the past and how because a lot of the stuff they did was very wholesome um and they can actually show their children and it can show their children a positive example and it can also show that these good things that we did these things that weren't you know were, weren't showing our bodies off and having to be naked all the time that weren't having to necessarily use bad language that were not you know having to go through all of these things look where look look what we did then and look what life that has allowed for it to build us and i think that's the lesson it's going to teach their children it's going to teach them the lesson that this us doing those things and sticking with our values and sticking with our morals is how we got to this life that you get to live today is how you know um tamara has a, a family where you know her children they grow a lot of their own vegetables they have their own winery and everything and their children get to experience so many different things you know just even even living in napa as a result of the hard work of their parents i mean even her husband adam he has a, again a very very just wholesome career he was i think um he was a news guy he also played baseball as well for a while so again 
and, and those are the two main things I know about. And then obviously he has his family business as well. So again, he's just another person, very, very wholesome, you know, because I, I think a lot of a lot of what we see nowadays, a lot of the examples we're setting is to children is that you have to be this provocative person to succeed in life. If you if you want to be, say, in the entertainment industry, obviously, if you want to get um, a job that's outside of entertainment and stuff, then that's complete. That's a different story. And I mean, there's even there's even issues even within that. So let, if we're being honest, but if we are talking about, you know, entertainment, media, sport, um, social media and stuff like that there is this need nowadays especially for the women unfortunately more so um that people feel like they have to just be you know either really sexual or just naked and it's just a bit like can we just build careers off of talent again and i really feel like that's what tia and tamara did because a lot of the people who are building their careers off of other things are actually talented in my opinion it's just a shame that 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 was not what was the forefront and that was not the only thing and i think sometimes especially for women like i've mentioned it can be very easy to just slip into you know this provocative type of behavior but then very quickly the 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 problem with that is that people will very quickly forget um that you're actually talented and a lot of people will ignore your talent and think that that's how you got you know popular and it's nice to know that you know t and tamara i don't even know what their belly buttons look like and i'm kind of happy to know that you know maybe if i really wanted to maybe they've got pictures or whatever with or whatever but you know it's something very small like a belly button but nowadays that's not even the anything nowadays a belly button is nothing like nowadays you can you can have seen every and everything like honestly sometimes i'm just like oh can we just are we just going to be naked tomorrow like is it just going to be legal to be completely naked on instagram like in like a couple of years time because that's where we're heading because i don't really see how we can wear any less clothes at this point in my opinion but anywho i'm kind of going off subject a little bit um well i guess not really so yeah let me know you guys' thoughts if any of you guys watch sister sister i would love to hear or any of their other tv shows like i said that wasn't the only show um <clears throat> by far that they did but i definitely think it's what they were the most well known for especially as child stars um subscribe if you would like to subscribe i'd love to have you guys here i've got lots of videos don't forget to hit the like button as well other than that god bless you all and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye